have in churches nowadays. God is not in all their thoughts. They go to church, I agree, but God is not in their thoughts. So they carry that phone and say, that pastor is an idiot. He is a thief. God is not in his thought. Ask him if God sent him. And they are all church people. Their parents brought them and groomed them up in church. But God was not in their thought. So they grew up. And now their parents cannot tell them, don't carry that phone because they have become adults. So, Train up a child in the way he should go so that when he grows up, he will not depart from it. Mm. Thank you, Father. God is not in all of their thoughts. This is a very serious issue. Is that when God was giving me this word, I was meditating on it. And I was praying for myself that at no point in this life should I be without God in all of my thoughts. Because that will, it will groom the way I think towards anybody after, outside me. Anybody. Husband, wife, brother, sister, cousin, in-laws, whoever they are, it will groom your thoughts. And then you know that when it is so, you you personally you will know that God is with me. That the things that I do, I'm not doing it of myself. If it is me, I know what I want. But it is God. That is what Jesus said. It's everything I do. It is what I see the Father do. That's what I'm doing. Because if it was me, you know, you know, Jesus has his own will. Are you aware? He has his own will. He said, well, not my will, because if it's my will, there are other ways I want to go, but your will. Praise God. Say be your will. Yeah. He just wants to align himself with Almighty God. Because there are other ways. So, so, so he can say that. Mm, thank you, Father, because you hear me always. Thank you. He's listening to God, not himself. Hallelujah. So when people think that you have done one thing, they, they, you are supposed to operate like this. You, they now shock that you are... But, uh, but, uh, mm, no, but this is how God wants me to do it. Hey, but, but this is against you. It is for God. I am for God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's it. It has to be His will, otherwise, you will not have any of God. It has to be holy is will or otherwise you will not have any of God. Nothing of God. You will not have it. You may go to church. You may have a title. You may even be a pastor of a big church and God is not there. Praise God. Hallelujah. But tonight, as you partake of this communion, may your relationship with God become unbreakable. Amen. I said, may your relationship with God become unbreakable. Amen. Because the relationship between Jesus and God was unbreakable. Unbreakable. It was unto death. Unto, that is, there was nothing that was going to separate Jesus from God. Nothing. In fact, when it happened in the cross, he said, why, why, why hast thou forsaken me? God said, for a while, go and sort out those things in hell and return. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. That moment, that was the most painful moment of Jesus. Why, why have been handling this thing, thing but separate you? No, no. Why have you don't forsake me? I can do all these things with you, but don't, don't leave me. Don't leave me. It's too painful. Praise God. Hallelujah. But he had to feel the pain because all the other pain was not feeling anything. He was handling it. Say, no, Allah. Nail it, no, Allah. Nail the thing, no, Allah. But when it comes to living, Forsaking, ah, he cried. He cried. That is why forsaking, that word forsaking, he said, they, they have forsaken the fountain of living water. God, that, those things breaks God. It, it, it breaks his heart. He weeps. The problem is that we don't do the weeping. I don't know why. We, when God leaves you, you should weep. When you feel, if you can't feel God, you should be, nothing in this world should matter to you. That, that connection needs to be in place for life to worth it at all. But these days, people's hearts 
have been seared with hot iron. They can't even feel God. They go to church. They are inside church. But they can't feel God. I've learned to yield myself to God so that even those that hurt me, I may be hurt, but I will never wish them evil. Praise God. And at any time, I'm ready for reconciliation. Even immediately. During the hurt. Praise God. I don't need to go and think about reconciliation. Praise God. Uh, not now. Let us just first go first. Uh, let me go and cool down. Mm, no, no. We'll do it now. Praise God. Everyone say now. Uh, there is no cooling down. It is reconciliation that leads to genuine cooling down. Are you hearing me? It is reconciliation that leads to genuine cooling down. All this. No, no. At the verse now. Let me just first go. Uh, no, you are going to the, the devil will breathe upon your mind again. Then you now say, anyway, I forgive Shao. I know I cannot forget Sha, but I forgive. Maybe but you're the inside. Now nah, you didn't forgive nothing. Praise God. Is somebody hear what I'm saying now? You didn't forgive nothing. This fake forgiveness in church. Praise God. But in the name of Jesus, your case will not be like that. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Now, there's something I, 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 I studied about Cain. You know, I was in, it was in the night season. I just woke up in the night and that scripture just came to my mind and I decided to went to go and check it again. And I discover that the reason why Cain, I believe, let me personalize it, I believe that the reason why Cain killed Abel was because he forgot God. He forgot who God is. He, he thought he thought he could kill a man and God would not know. No, no, no sins. So God came and said, what, what, what? Where, where is Cain your brother? Hey, what is it now? Mike, go find her now. Hey, I'm my, my brother's keeper. Hey, leave me, leave me. See, we will collect offering for ourselves. Praise God. Just leave me in my corner as you are not accepting my own. You are accepting. Hey, I'm not going to do now. No, Allah. You're on my own side too. Hey, but his, his, his blood is crying from the ground. What have you done? God caught him. Praise God. Hallelujah. God knew where he put him. God knew what he did. I'm sorry. If Cain knew who God was, he would even try to kill him. He, he forgot that this God, nothing is hid before him. His absence does not mean his absence. Yes, sir. Hmm. That he is not there does not mean he's not there. Thank you, Jesus. So, 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 let's not think that we can do something in secret and God is not seeing. <laughs> Please, what I'm sharing with you tonight. There are things that God is giving me grace to handle. Amen. Amen. That we establish the simplicity of Christ to a man. And just show yourself like this. If anybody likes it, fine. If anybody does not like it, I am me, you are you. Let everybody just be. Praise God. Hallelujah. How would you want to have a conscience void of offense against God and against any man? You want to have peace with God. This is the secret. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because all these things we do, they bounce back to us because God is not there. They bounce back. And then we now begin to cry for all useless mercy. And God said that we have mercy on whoever we have. So you cry for mercy does not mean you are going to have mercy. God can decide not to give you mercy. So our relationship with him is so is above all things too important. And if we understand that relationship, we know how we are dealing with men part time, in words, in thoughts, and in action. To your enemy and those that are not your enemy. And friends, whoever they are, whoever they are. So, so, so tonight, if you have encountered God, you will build a better relationship within your brethren, even your family members. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah, some family members can be very, very nasty. Amen. But you prepare your heart. 
Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Prepare your heart that if the door for reconciliation, the door for peace, the door for progress open, you are ready. You are the first person online. I'm ready. Let's just move it. But if it is that useless place, I'm not going. I choose God. Say me, I choose God. Choose God. It's as simple as that. But don't be the type of crazy lie, lie forever. This one, that don't do that. Don't do that. If God did that to you, you will not be here. Glory be to God. Yeah. Is that clear? Yes, Let me quickly read that scripture. It will help you. Oh, thank you, Father. Genesis chapter 4 and verse 3 to 10. Let's quickly read it just to refresh our memory. Because I read it, you should read it too. Genesis chapter 4, verse 3 to 10. It said, and in the process of time, it came to pass that came brought of the fruit of the ground. An offering unto the Lord. What did he bring? Offering unto the Lord. Mm, because I'll talk to I'll talk about that matter. And Abel he also brought of the firstlings of the flocks and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. But unto Cain and to his offering, he had no respect. Watch this. Look up here. He said, unto Cain and his offering. So you see when you pray, accept me and accept my offering, yes. Yes, yes. Not only was his offering rejected, he himself was rejected. Because he was the reflection of his offering. He was the what? He was the reflection of his offering. So your offering to God is the reflection of you. You give an offering that is torn, it's a reflection of you. You are torn. You give an offering that is of no value. It's a reflection of you. Yes. God, I'm not valuable. So manage the unvaluable thing. God, you are telling God, you know, say I'm not very good before. So collect this thing now, which I gave that. Pray God, oh, you are not good. Okay. Hold your side. I leave you to yourself. Since you are the one that created yourself. You have an offering, you say you don't have. Okay. You live empty life. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Let me show you something. You will see. Because this is not between Cain and Abel. This is God. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. But unto Cain and to his offering he had no respect. And Cain was very wroth. And his countenance fell. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth? And why is thy countenance falling? If thou doest well. Ah, I'm praying for you tonight. May you do well. Shall thou not be accepted? So doing well. Leads to acceptance. By God. Do it well. Don't do it anyhow. Don't just appear before the Lord anyhow. Do this thing well. Do, do, when you are doing things well, then you become well with God. But if you don't do things well, you are sick. Watch this. If thou doest well, shall thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin light at the door. You see him? And unto thee shall be his desire. Watch this. That means as soon as you are not doing well, as soon as you have chosen to be by yourself, sin will begin to like you. Sin will be liking you. We, we, you will become desired of sin. Remember, the sting of sin is what? Is death. So death is coming. By the blood, God gives you, gives you victory over death tonight. Amen. I said by the blood, God gives you victory over death tonight. Amen. He said, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. And Cain talked with Abel, his brother. And it came to pass, when they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel is upon all what God told him of upon the explanation God told him that's why stubborn people I don't understand after God have explained the reason to him does God have to explain to Abel but God even went down and explained this is why I did not accept you or your offering go and do well and I will accept it but instead what is in his heart the bitterness he was carrying continued that means he did not accept what God was saying 
you, you, understand? you, you see Christians that you'll be talking to and they are not accepting your own the, the one that they have inside their spirit that is making them to react like an animal that is where they will stay until they do that thing that is in their heart they will not stop they will not rest Waiting, 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 waiting. Oh, let me. Waiting, waiting. Ah, waiting. How many I don't do now? Waiting, waiting. Ah, ah, ah. Waiting, waiting. They are explaining to you, but, but. Ah, ah wait, 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 waiting. Okay. Go and do your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Can hear. Thank you. And unto thee, what Jesus said, where is it again? Uh, and Cain talked with his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and did what? Just like that. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel, thy brother? He said, I don't know. I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? He was asking, You see, pride, eh? It's a terrible thing. You see, when you give birth to a child, a child that cannot ask you some question, arrogant question, and because that child has grown up to one level, he asks you, he will just, what is it? Why are you asking me that kind of question? Your father. Your, when you were small, then born you were. Because you are now becoming, you can't think, you cannot, you can just talk to the person in here. Why, why, mommy, wait, why did you ask me that kind of question? Abe, 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 mommy, who your side there? That is that is that is demonic. That's what Cain was doing here. Why? Because he ref he refused to accept God in his thought, even when God came down to his level. Watch this. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, "What has thou done?" So God knew he did. He killed. The voice of thy brother's blood cried unto me from the ground. So he now knew where he kept him. He was busted. Can I tell you something and we pray? Can I tell you something? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you know that God is the reason why you even have anything at all to spend you will be robbing him of offering okay. if you know God is the reason why you even have at all at all at all at all that God is the one that gives you everything you won't be robbing him of offering that's what happened to this guy we we we'll say we don't have offering, but something will happen. Money will come, and money will be available for that thing. But you don't have money for all free. God is not in your thought. You are playing games with God. And it is in these areas Satan takes advantage of why we are Christians. Yes. If you know that God was the reason why you even you are even alive. You won't have any problem paying your tithe. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, the whole money came from him. And he said, tight. You say, waiting. Uh, even it's not even enough. If by the time you pay light, you pay um, uh, this one. And it's finished now. I mean, for this moment, God just, God, does that? Oh, God, God, you understand. God knows. You understand now. God, we we'll be pointing out to God. God understand now. Uh, you are behaving like king who said, Am I my brothers? You see, we that we speak in tongues, you see where we allow the devil and why we don't walk continuously victoriously. It's, it, it is our vulnerability as Christians. We must see this truth and begin to engage them consciously in our daily living. Daily as I live, soft and as I breathe, let my whole life be expressions of your daily, 
every day, every day. We, 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 that's why Paul said, I die daily. Daily, I'm, as I'm here, he say, hey, this one, I need to work on this area. Mm-hmm. Reduce myself again. I begin to work on it again. And then we we'll find out that one, yeah, hey, this one. Hey. Wow, more again. They hear what? Do this one. Praise God. You begin, you begin to, you begin to, you need to be sorting yours every day. If you assume I know the Bible, you know, I've read the Bible up to 15 times, you will enter 15 holes of hair. Praise God. Hallelujah. I've read it 15 times. So bloody what? The devil knew this, knows the scripture and he trembles. <laughs> If you have not forgotten God at all, you will not be behaving like as if you are the one that made God. We forget, we forget, we forget, we forget. You see, character and attitude in God are so important to the experience of God. Character, attitude, they are so important to the experience of God. Let's watch it. Character. Character and attitude. They are so important to the experience of God. If we don't get it right, we'll be missing the best out of God. But I pray for you tonight that in the name of Jesus, you will not miss out. In the name of Jesus, you will not miss out. Well, I have a lot here, but I don't want to. Praise God. But I want to stop there. Hallelujah. But I pray tonight that you will not forget God. Because Satan will take advantage of it. The enemy will come from and say, ah, but I fasted and prayed. You left one area. And Satan took advantage of it. He knows he doesn't have too much space. So when he has this simplest space, he will do something. He can kill a thousand people within one second. That's how wicked Satan is. But I pray that tonight, tonight, from tonight, you will keep walking victoriously. Amen. That's why the Bible says, walk out your salvation with fear and trembling. Don't take God for granted. Just be careful what you say, how you say it, when you say it. To whom you say it. To whom you say it. Be careful. Don't say, eh, when he told me, me too, I tell him. Don't do like that. If they are going down, you too don't go down. Can I hear an amen? amen. Don't do like, that is somebody who is not handling his life with fear and trembling. If the other person is not handling his salvation with fear and trembling, you handle yours because you know where you are going. Mm-hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm-hmm. And from this realm, you begin to engage the spirit of the elders. I'm talking about spiritual maturity. Hallelujah. Amen. You may be young, but you'll be operating that spirit. You may be young, but yet you are a giant spiritually. And that is your value as a child of God. I pray tonight that taking these details to heart in your daily living, I am sure that you will continue to walk in divine victory in Jesus' name. Amen. Please rise up on your feet. If you are blessed tonight, Lift up your hands of victory towards heaven and just say thank you, Jesus. Give him thanks. Mazikatu se branda lakundi, mirush arabada, badosha kata 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 bababa yandi, mazo grudush te bragada bazazo, mashakata boseka. Come on. Just lift up your hands of victory and say, Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I give you praise. I magnify you. To you be all the glory. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. I want to pray a prayer of affirmation that we saw in Romans. He said, Nothing shall be able to take me from the love of God. Would you want to pray that prayer? Just begin to declare it. I decree and declare that in the name of Jesus, nothing shall be able to separate me from God. Nothing shall be able to separate me from the love of God. Nothing, nothing. 
begin to speak pray 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 for your father pray for your mother pray for your children pray for your family members nothing shall be able to separate us from the love of god that we might walk triumphantly even on this earth in the name of jesus christ father i decree i decree and declare in affirmation that nothing shall be able to separate me from the love of god i ain't going nowhere lord i am with you and you are with me and we are one just like you are one with the son in the name of jesus father i decree and declare in affirmation that in the name of jesus i ah nothing shall separate me from the love of god nothing shall separate me from you forever in the mighty name of jesus no height no depth nothing present nothing to come shall be able to separate me from the love of god i give you glory i bless your name thank you father in jesus precious name we are praying and as we partake of the communion today by the blood jesus nothing was able to separate jesus from his father that same grace tonight you will partake of it in the name of jesus you're going to pray lord as i partake of the communion tonight i receive grace to remain one with you in the name of jesus go ahead and talk to him now father as i partake of the communion tonight i receive grace to become one with you forever till eternity in the mighty name of jesus father as i partake of your communion tonight through the journey of life till eternity i receive grace to continually be one with you with no space in between the remaining days of my life i receive that grace just as it was with jesus i receive that grace i receive that grace i receive that grace thank you father in jesus precious name we have prayed father as your children partake of the communion tonight as they have said in your ear please do in jesus precious name everything that stands as a as a a discomfort a disturbance anything at all at this table let it come to an end whatever your children are trusting you for lord by this table let it be released let it be delivered instant in the name of jesus and let all the glory be yours in jesus precious name we are praying amen